they've been driven in through that section there. So there's uh, obviously there's privacy for the deceased, and then they will be brought in, taken into there for storage. We can hold up to 40 bodies here, so 20 in each container. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so this is to serve the Muslim Ummah. Because what we heard is Dawat Islami under the guidance of our Nigran that basically the Muslims are finding it difficult to holding facilities, doing busal and kafan and uh, janaza according to Quran and Sunnah. This is the entrance for the Masjid, the Jamiyat al Madina. So from here, after this point, there'll be no one going in or out. So when they come out, there'll be here we will have the PPE equipment set up here. They'll pick the PPE equipment, they'll put the PPE equipment on to each other. Then they will go through here. They will collect the body from there, bring the body through here. And this is a means so the infection doesn't spread. And then from here, this is a totally concealed uh, area from all four corners. Where we, we are just setting this up at the moment, it's not fully complete. Uh, where the bed will be, the washing facilities will be, the coffin will be there and all the things that we'll need to wash the body and then the, uh, we'll put the box here once the value, uh, once the rights have been given in regards to ghusl we will put the body into the box, put the coffin on, close the box and once it's sealed we will take the box back out and then after that the body will be, be brought back in here and it will be put towards the Qibla side which is up here inshallah azza wa jal and there'll be no more than six relatives allowed. So a maximum of six relatives, they will put three rows of two, inshallah azza wa jal, to make the rows of the uh, namaz -e janazah. The imam will be at the front and the, uh, the, uh, the mayyat will be in front of the imam. Like this, they will be put back into the uh, car to take towards the graveyard for their final rites.